Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in the world of Pixar. That's right, we are back. And today we are turning our focus to Elemental Golems. That's right, that's a 27 right over that way. We are going to try our best to pull and kite that all the way over to there and uh, see if we can manage to uh, wake this beast up. Come on, man. Get up. Get up. Get up. Wakey, wakey. Tofu, eggs, and bakey. Oh, ouch. That actually really hurt. Um. All right, fine. You want to throw rocks at me? I'll just start firing arrows at your face. Okay. Ooh, goodness. All right, all right. Come on. All right, rock golem time. We're going to get you. Let's, uh, let's, oh man, there is, uh, oh God, now that he's aggroed the Bronto, he's aggroed the Bronto. Come on, Harold, Harold, we gotta go. Okay, okay. He's, what, what, what exactly is happening right now? Let's see, is, is he coming after me? No. Ouch. Okay, okay. Come over here. Get in the pit. You know you want to. Get in the pit. Get in the pit. <laughs> Very nice. We have trapped the golem. Okay. Oh, he can still throw rocks. Oh, no, 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 no. Passive. Did you just aggro? Oh. Man, everything is getting aggroed wrong today. Alright, get in get in here. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Alright, good. Run away. You madman. Alright, so still want to get that elemental golem. Let's let's try and work our way back over here. Okay, no more following. Ouch. Shoot him. Okay, run. All right, we ran. Looks like it does a little bit of an explosion as well. All right, unconscious. Very nice, very nice indeed. All right, so these guys, I believe, just eat rocks. I think. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I think they just eat rocks. So let's go ahead and put in some rocks. And, yep, that is exactly what they eat. I'm actually curious as well if they will eat earth magic stones. I'm not sure if that's something they'll eat either. But let's see. Let me put the earth magic stones in. Yeah. Okay. Just just rocks. All right. Well, that was a, a good shot to test out. But all right. Let's get this guy tamed up. 27 elemental golem. Oh, yes. So I got to admit, it is pretty cool that these things eat rocks to, uh, to tame. Oh, man. I really want a fire elemental. I heard they're so good. And an ice elemental. But the fact there's only a level of five around us, and that just makes it really difficult. But, uh, yeah, we can see no gender on these guys. Uh, magical creatures, very strong, very healthy, but not very fast. Uh, and they are found in the Doomlands Outer Ring. No gender on them or anything. Level 27. Getting squished by a level two sauropod apparently but hopefully that doesn't uh kill him nope not taking very much damage at all but uh yeah he's he's getting tamed it's taken a little bit but he is definitely getting tamed i don't remember exactly how many of those i put in do they eat at 40 uh let's see here 40 uh maybe it's it's slightly lower than that maybe it's at 50 or maybe even 60 that they eat Sauropod's good. All right. I'm just kind of watching around, making sure I don't get attacked or anything. Still that level five. 
Uh, let's see. 50 points. Can I take a look here? One rock. Yeah, it gives them about, mm, I would say about 10% or so. Um, oh, he actually ate two rocks in one sitting. Interesting. All right. Still got a little ways to go on him, but uh, we should be fine. Plenty, plenty of protection around here. All right, I believe any second now our golem is going to get up and go off into the wild blue yonder. No, not really. He's going to get up and we're going to pick block him and take him home and get a saddle for him. But he should be super close. One of you guys were saying in a comment that the symbols for each of these monsters is not as tech-ish. Uh, it's actually monster hunter-ish. And I just want to know what came first. Aztec or Monster Hunter? Don't know. I mean, you guys will have to inform me because I couldn't find anything on the wiki that answered that question in particular. Just saying. But, uh, all right. This guy, come on, get up. Should be very, very close. He's been eating, like, one or two at a time, and then we'll eat one, and then he'll eat two. So it looks like it's kind of random where he will actually eat. There he is, standing up for us, our elemental golem. Can you get out of our way, you stupid? All right, so I could convert you to a Pix Blocks. Ooh, and you are heavy. 165 pounds. Wow. All right, definitely a heavy monster. But all right, let's go ahead and get this guy home. Let's put a saddle on him and ride around a little bit to check him out. We are arriving home, and of course it's snowing, because it always snows here. Stupid base location. Why'd you guys let me pick such a stupid base location? Not really. It's actually a really good base location. It just seems to snow here constantly, and I, you know, don't know why. But I have a saddle in my box here. Go ahead and grab it. I am not technically high enough level for the saddle yet, but I got it out of a drop. So that was super nice. Come on, we can we can make it out of here. Run, run. Oh, something else that I got out of a drop was a prod. I guess it didn't do nothing to him, but it is a apprentice electric prod, a stun weapon that can stun certain large animals with electricity. It can only be used a few times. So um, much like the arc prod, but looks pretty cool. We might have to check this out and see what it's like. But let's go ahead and throw out our golem. Dun 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 dun. dun. All right, got you with your saddle on. Looks good, man. Looks good. Uh, let's change his name. I want his name to be Hulk. Yeah, I think Hulk is an appropriate name for a rock golem. Let's uh, ride him. Oh, man, he's quick. Ooh, does a ton of damage, too. Let's see. He gathers meat. That's good. Pick up a rock and throw it. All right, let's kind of aim upward a little bit. Oh, it's bouncing off. That's cool. All right, C is a spin attack. X doesn't seem to do anything. Let's do a spin attack onto the... Boom! Oh, yes! Oh! This guy is gonna be amazing! Let's see. Watch out! Ah! ah. <laughs> I don't know why this is so satisfying. Uh, health is up to 6,140 damage. And I love how quick he is. He is, like, surprisingly quick. This is way faster than a lot of the dinos that we run across. I love it. I love it. I love it. I kind of want to take him over to the, uh, the, uh, whatever biome we've got that's not too far away over on this side. I think I'm going to head that way. All right. So we are getting very close over here to the biome that I am looking for. And I am going to make sure that my stamina is up. Got a good grouping of bad hombres over there. Let's see if I can throw... Oh, can I throw it high enough? Too high. Too high. Ooh, I hit him that time. I defeated the Cyclops. Keep throwing the rocks. Oh, man. I must be running into something. 
Uh, a couple more points into damage. Kill the raptor. Very good. And we're coming for this minotaur. Minotaurs are like one of the strongest things that I feel like I've ran across in my fighting scene. Do you just refuse to fight me? Fight me! Come on, bring it. I will end you in your little dog, too. Come on. Minotaur. Oh, yes. Here we go. Big fight time. Oh, he's running away. He's running. He's going down into the cave or cavern. All right. Throw another rock. Watch out. I feel like he's running from me. What is this? Come on, don't fear the Hulk. You're running from the other Minotaurs or the uh, the Cyclopses. Come on, get that stamina back, man. We need more stamina. We gotta fight. We gotta fight these things. Come on, R run around the corner here. Ooh, there's lava actually. Oh, oh. Are they going to die in the lava? Come on. Fight me. Yeah, that's me. Right here. Go. Let's do it. Quit running away. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I punched him once. All right, here we go, here we go. Dung beetle dead. Can I kill the Cyclops? Come on. Keep going. Oh yes, killed the Cyclops. Oh, man alive. That is rough. That is rough, only because of the stamina. Now, I don't wanna go over to that thing. That is where all dreams go to die, if you're not familiar. A uh, giant reaper looking thing comes out and tries to kill everybody. Um, not something that sounds enjoyable to me. But let's see, what is what is this right here? This is volcanic rock cubes. And this is silver. Oh, very nice. All right. I think I want to mine me some silver and some volcanic rock cubes. All right, so to finish up today's episode, we are going to see if I have enough materials to upgrade our armor to the bone steel variants of what we have. First, I'm gonna start off with the sword, uh, which is what I have there. Uh, whoa, you didn't actually use the sword. I figured it would've used the sword. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Oh, uh, it's, it's actually not as cool. <laughs> um, not quite a big of a fan of it as I was hoping I would be, but hey, what you gonna do? All right, steel bone boots. I'm going to go ahead and skip that because I have the um, the spring boots. Don't don't want to do that. So let's craft a chest plate, uh, some leggings. Let's do the hands and the helmet. Very good. Should have everything there. And I'm really surprised I didn't use up the steel that we had. But, uh, oh. There we go. Aha, very nice indeed. So again, I still have the steel spring boots. Let's see if spring, um, chitin spring boots, steel spring boots. Doesn't look like there's an upgraded variant for the bone stuff, but yeah, check it out. Oh yeah. Um, so this armor goes from 11 armor for primitive steel to 13 armor for primitive steel. And 12 from 9, 8 to 9. Wow, I really feel like they adjusted some armor values. Because I felt like steel was at 30. Hmm, maybe I should check the... Um, yeah, maybe I should check on the changelog. Because I haven't looked at it in a little while. Maybe that's something that they did change. Uh, is the um, armor values of different things. Because this just does not feel... Uh, like it was quite as high as it used to be, which is 
concerning for me, to say the least. But let's see. Let's grab out this sword. Let's go ahead and put this one in. There's all our swords. Go ahead and put up our armors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Drop the light. Drop one of those and put in the rest of my steel. And then we have our weapons. Where's our weapons box? Weapons, weapons, weapons. Tools, rails, weapons. There's the weapons. Go ahead and put those away. Perfect. Okay. So now I want to go see how this thing handles in the uh, the little area over there. All right, running in. Oh, 372. Not bad. Nothing of value there. What did you drop? A copper pick? Not very useful. I, I really should just throw that stuff out, not just uh, ignore it. Ooh, um, yep, those. We'll toss them out. Got a blueprint that I might already have, but let's come up here. Yeah, I'm thinking that this is pretty awesome as far as the armor is concerned. I really do feel like it was nerfed. Achoo, got him. Very good. All right. Uh, ooh, carbon enemy saddle. Very good. Very good. Very good. Cool. All right. So I think next episode I might come back and try to get a couple of the elementals. Maybe the ice and fire. Um, if I'm not doing anything with a group or something like that. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. The ice elemental apparently acts like a refrigerator, and the fire elemental apparently acts like a stove. This guy can hold a ton of weight, uh, 1,300 weight, and I have him holding so much silver that I picked up. I picked up some volcanic. Uh, there was some sharp crystal down there and some gold. So having him carry it around for us was super useful. I just did 3,000 damage to that. I don't believe it. 3,000 damage. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We are going to continue to push our way onwards and upwards and check out some of the in-game content when we get there. Um, I'd really like to get into like a Rock Drake or, you know, those types of things. Not quite there yet. I need to do quite a bit of leveling and uh, do some, some off-camera mining and uh, crafting to just get my levels up there. But all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.